Hello and welcome back to Elliot's Podcast. I have a a addition for you where I play guitar, which we haven't done in a while, so that will happen after this. Just a bit of chat before, though. It's nice to, to reconnect. And the theme of my my show and everything I talk about lately has really been the idea of showing up and and I I can't really reiterate this one enough because it's a it's a process to to really make some headway and not give up in the process and so every time I I I do the podcast it's a it's a chance to sort of check in with how I'm doing on on what I'm what I want to be working on and that's why I call it the most creative work and I always uh, preach to people about do, doing your most creative work and so for me what I do on my my podcast is 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 living up to that and um, really uh, staying authentic to that that message because I really do this every week and it's kind of crazy because in some ways it looks kind of silly and and it sometimes it it feels really silly like why are you doing this what's up with you and that's why it's personal but it also my personal journey becomes kind of public in the process because you come along for the for the ride and i'm always grateful for the people who are curious enough to see see what happens on on my show. So this week I play play some guitar and I like to play the guitar because it's my my favorite instrument and also the one that I spend the most time with. So even though you might know me from such movies as <laughs> I mean you might know me from some some of the ambient music or some of the funky music but the the day-to-day challenge for me really is to sit down and play the guitar and and I ha- I get the most joy out of out of doing that especially when especially when it was the last thing you wanted to do and you found a way to sit down and do it I actually use this website Focusmate and I tell people about it, and every time some people laugh at me about that I use this website, that it's a it's a site where you log in and, and you, you're paired up with someone to work with for fit for 25 minutes or, or 50 minutes. And you tell them what you're going to work on, and then you just get to it. And, and the reason it works, I actually, so I started using it for guitar practice lately, and it really does work for that too. And it's kind of funny because so you get paired up with people and rant, like they could be anywhere in the world and they could be working on computer programming or doing the dishes. And, and then I'll, I'll say I'm have to practice the guitar and it's happened a few times that they, at the end of the session, you kind of check in with how it went and it's happened a few times where they, ask me to play what I was practicing. So that happened one time. And then, and w- and one other time someone asked if I could uh, stay off of mute so they could hear me practice. And I said, no, I'm not comfortable with that. But then it happened again. And so then I did actually uh, unmute myself and they could, this person was doing the dishes in like Atlanta, Georgia or something in an RV. <laughs> and I, I played for them while they were doing the dishes and I have to admit I I still did not like what I did because uh, it took away from my practice time because I felt like I was performing for this person so there was definitely a good very good exercise in there like the performance but the bad part about it was the that I ideally if you're practicing you want to you, you it's personal time like you shouldn't practice based on anyone hearing you because to practice effectively 
you have to you have to play really slowly and that's the other big message that i have that's changing the way i i think about things and work is that that slow like that slow method methodical approach is what really creates the mastery because when you're playing too fast you you can't them you you get mistakes and you keep repeating them you're playing them too fast so you got to slow down and that's why it's i don't really want people to hear me practicing because it's so you have to go so slow and then repeat it and then there's all kinds of stuff involving um just uh catching the mistake and then working on that one mistake so you're really zoning into like you know a few a few bars one bar of music and getting that right so yeah so the, i'll play a bit um for you this is sort of a, a I, it's drop D. So a drop D guitar tuning is nice and it has that has that open string. So we'll play that. And uh, thank you so much for listening. And thank and this is Elliot's podcast. I'm Elliot Feinberg. All right, take care. Have a great week.
Thank <laughs> you.